contestant. All right, let's turn around here. Please put your hands together and give a big woods and welcome to Thomas Pickett. Thank you, thank you. Well, getting a little serious for a moment. Uh, there's a lot of problems with broken homes in this country, and I'm no different. I also come from a broken home. Our uh, garage door didn't work. <laughs> and that's it. Yeah. Well, I, I have been trying to work out. I, uh, I have been starting to swim, and I bought these Speedos. And ladies, they are hot on some other dude. I, I have no business wearing them whatsoever. It's kind of trying to put like a shirt on a walrus. It's lots of flab and hair. Here we go. I, uh, I just got back from the show and there was a juggler. And, then, and it was like, I was like, I gotta get my friends down to this. I'm like, dude, you gotta see this juggler. And they're like, well, is he good? And I was like, well, if he wasn't, he wouldn't be known as a juggler. He'd be known as the guy who drops stuff. Uh, hooray! <laughs> I, uh, I recently bought a cat. And uh, if anybody's thinking of adopting a cat, you have to ask yourself this question. It's like, am I getting scratched in the face enough? I, Give it up, buddy. It's been a pleasure. I... I, uh, I went to the Denver Dunn's Friends League, and then you go there, and it's just like, you, you gotta put your heart in your, in your back pocket, because it's just, they all have these face on, this look, and you know, it's this look that it's just like, please just don't, just buy me before they put me in the oven. I just, I did. And then you just, you start to tear up, you're just like, all right, I'm taking all of you. We'll, we'll figure it out, we'll start a circus. Who can jump through a hoop of fire? Car tricks, raise a paw, raise a paw. And uh, I got my cat, and uh, I think he's trying to stuff me out. I think he's trying to kill me, actually. He, he likes to sleep on my face. And you know, he just has this look in his face like, man, I take you out, this is all mine. <laughs> he's a bit rambunctious, though, so I had to buy him a, a kitty Xbox, which is a, a laser pointer. <laughs> these are great. You know what it is? Guys, is just as good as my cat. It's awesome. Uh, let's see here. I don't know about this. I don't know about the other guys, but why would girls with glasses are so hot? I don't know. That secretary look? Yeah, that's so, I don't know why I'm attracted with women with bad vision. I really don't. Because how's that going to work? Maybe you are hot tonight. I'm over here! Listen to my sound of my voice. Watch the lamp. There we go. I don't, I, I don't date well. I was just on this date, and this girl was beautiful, and she had these beautiful breasts, and I couldn't stop looking at her. What? And the whole night, and she finally goes, she's like, I bet you don't even know what color my eyes are. I'm like, eye color? I didn't even know you had a head. <laughs> no second date. Oh, yeah. Um, yep. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm a bit of a nerd. I don't like the term uh, nerd. I think it's a little uh, demeaning. I like the term uh, cool impaired. Uh, I think it's a little bit better. Uh, that, uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, but uh, the one thing I want about nerds, or I should say the cool impaired, is that uh, whenever they go out, they always dress in these outfits. Like, they can never go to some place and just dress normal. They always have to dress up as something. And I just wonder how that goes. You know, what do they figure out to be? It's like, honey, honey, what should I be? Should I be Darth Vader or I should be the Ewok? She's like, oh, honey, it doesn't matter. I'm just a figment of your imagination. Who is the Ewok? There we go. Uh, movies. I, I was like, the thing about movies is that there's two different kinds of movies. There's chick flicks and there's guy films. And the only difference between them is how many people die in them. You think about it, one chick and she dies of cancer. In a guy film, everybody dies because of aliens. And, uh, except one guy, and he has normally a speech impediment. And then he becomes governor of California. That's right. I think we can just join these things together and make one movie and make everybody happy. 
You know, it's just like, and the scene opens, and there's like, you know, Whoopi Goldberg, and she's like, has an alien in her chest. She's like, I, I don't think I'm going to make it. And then it just, the door busts open, and it's like, Arnold Schwarzenegger's like, have a light, and just throws it, and everything blows up. But the alien survives, and everybody's happy. I, I call it how the alien got his groove back. Summer 2009. Hey, that's my time. My name is Thomas Vick. Vote for me. Please.